Now I would like to invite on stage our next presenter, equally amazing and graceful, uh, Kusum Kanwar, the managing director of uh, Anglo Kids Learning Systems and a very strong practitioner, advocate, and promoter of social inclusion through a social entrepreneurship uh, activities and initiatives. Kusum Ji. Hi, good evening. Um, I, it's, it's really an amazing story of, of Neelam, uh, but my story goes um, not about myself. Uh, I, I think she she's very very strong, and uh, if, if I had if I had to go through something like that, I probably would never have been able to put what what I've done till now. Uh, this is all about when you talk about social inclusion. Uh, I, as I'm sitting here, I was just thinking, isn't that a prejudice? Isn't uh, you know, aren't we all talking about 50 young and being included or not being included? So I would think that somewhere it has to be in an empowerment. You know, our goal has it, it should not be including anything. So this thought just came to me as I was sitting here because for me, social inclusion actually. Uh, should have been aware, uh, you know, because I come from an education background, I've been in schools for the last 25, 30 years, and inclusion is a is a very prejudiced word, you can say, where we're including disabilities, and, you know, we are, uh, and the latest that I'm doing is on mental uh, mental health awareness. So, um, I think we're just about including everybody, but nevertheless, uh, what we do, uh, because I, I run a small school, it's it's a preschool after heading, uh, you know, high schools. I actually thought, and that was the right age today, I thanked myself, that I just turned 50 and I started a, a, a school. And I wanted to uh, venture out, my, uh, you know, out into being an entrepreneur. And I think I, I did the right thing and that's how I'm connected to Anita Gurdani and you know, this whole team of 50 Young because uh, probably I thought that was, that was my inspiration at that age. So what we, uh, what as a school, I, I run a kind of quiz that is for, uh, you can say sustainability. There are about 15 to 20 families uh, who work with uh, with me and uh, it's uh, possibly uh, or probably because of that their, their homes are running so that's one aspect of it and what we do in our school is to actually create these spaces these quality spaces for children from under the flyover who come in they're about 30 in number and that's what we can afford at this point in time who go to regular schools but are with us and uh, at every special event or anything that happens, this is right from a concert to uh, you know our children's day and uh, to, to whatever else. Like we had, we celebrated Happy Women's Day. So it's an empowerment not only to uh, to our teachers but also to all these women who are actually you see them um, under the flyover who are who are making these garlands and making gajras and you know selling flowers. They are rag pickers children, uh, they are rag pickers themselves who come in and, and the mothers who are, you know, they beat in uh, necklaces and things like that. So this is also one of their creations. Wow. It's, it's all about, uh, you know, how we make it possible. Now, uh, it's all about these children who are a part of us, uh, whether we are doing, um, you know, special days like like sound or we do dinosaur or we have a concert. So they perform with us. They are. They are part of us. It's not that you know we just get them for a show. They look at things and then they're gone. So it's like we've created these little spaces for them, or that's our that's our area of influence. That's an area where I can influence these kids, and uh, that's why we make them a part of it. So that's that's what we are trying as a school, where it's it's actually social learning for both of us. It's for them and for us. So uh, I I would say that inclusion is totally. Uh, you know, it's being a part of each other. It's something like how we, uh, today as 50 young, we want to be included both ways. I think it is uh, for us to, when uh, Anand did ask about, you know, uh, the, the tech or the, you know, how tech savvy we are, I think we want to be that. Plus, we want to uh, have great relations with uh, anyone who's older than us as well. And in the families, and why not? There are no right or 
right, wrong answers. It's a perspective that each one of us carries within ourselves. So it's not that, okay, for me 50 young is this, or for somebody else it's, it's you know, 50 young. It has different connotations that everyone is welcome to, to have their own perspective, so long as we, we lead a, 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 life, a, a life that suits us. A life that keeps us happy, so that's what we are doing here as well. And uh, these are the different various activities. Actually, I wanted to, uh, you know, uh, show you all. Also, things like uh, if you see that's that's a mole, and you can see milk there. So uh, it's not a way of enticing the the children there, but it's it's something like children look forward to it. So after they finish a, a long day in the BMC schools, then they come to our school, and that's what we offer. Either I offer them food I, or, or I offer them something to drink. So that's the motivation. And uh, because at the end of the day, what happens is, uh, you know, if our mind is not nourished, I don't think we can go through anything. Or, or you know, education is uh, it just goes. It, it's just lost. And that's exactly what we also practice in my regular preschool. And um, I mean, Kangaroo Kids is, is, as everyone knows, is a high-end brand. And I do get uh, children who come from affluent families, but still, we have, uh, for us, we, uh, our motto in our school, our vision for our school is that we are sparkling human greatness each day and each day one step at a time. So it's for both the sides of the kids. It's not only them, we also run something called uh, Shield Yourself that is, uh, you know, the organization goes down to the tribal villages and they've adopted a village at uh, Ari Mill Colony and there are about 30 tribal girls who have who learn self-defense and also they're giving them education and there is nourishment and health hygiene that is being taught to these girls.